Welcome to Dream Classes. Myself is Gauri. Today we are going to learn this is the third lecture of reproduction in organism. First we will revise what we will see in two lectures. First, in first lecture we have seen lifespan. Lifespan means uh, birth to the natural death. This is the lifespan. Then phases, juvenile phase, census phase, aging, reproductive phase and the death. Juvenile phase means development is taking place. Census place is uh, reproductive characters are lost. Aging means development. Reproductive phase, where the gonads mature and that means complete cessation of the life. Then in asexual reproduction. In that asexual reproduction, we see first is the budding. Budding it may be exo and the endo. In endogenous example, porifera and in exo, examples are the yeast, saccharomyces cerevisiae. This yeast is also known as the pecus yeast or the bevers yeast. Then vegetative propagation. In that vegetative propagation, offer, runner, stolon, suckers, tubers, bull. These are the some types. For offset, it is here example is water hyacinth. For runner, strawberry, stolon, jasmine, suckers, cherry and apple. Apple is false fruit. Why it is false fruit? Because it is developed from thalamus. It is developed from the thalamus. Tubers, potato. In that tubers, the tubers are known as the eyes of the potatoes. And bulb, bulb it is the short stain. Bulb, it is the short an example is the onion. Then we see some terms that is itaroparous and semaloparous. Itaroparous means that there are two types, continuous and the seasonal. In continuous breeder, human is the good example. Human is the good example. And in seasonal breeder, there is the dog in rainy season. Dog reproduces in rainy season and semaloparous means bamboo and the lamprey bamboo flowers 50 to 100 years and after flowering it becomes that and in lamprey it is an example of the cyclostomata cyclostomata in that also after spawning it becomes the dye then today we are going to learn some events in fertilization. What are the events? There are some pre-fertilization, fertilization and post-fertilization events. In my previous lecture, um, I have told that fertilization is also known as syngamy or it is interchangeably known as syngamy. What are the events in pre-fertilization? Gametogenesis and gamete transfer. Gameto means gametes. Gameto means gametes. And genesis means formation. Genesis means formation. And gamete transfer means transfer of the gamete. Then fertilization. Fusion of male and the female gametes. <clears throat> then post fertilization. Zygote formation and the embryogenesis. Then how many types of gametes are present? There are two types of the gametes. Homogametes and heterogametes. These are interchangeably known as isogametes and anisogametes respectively. Homo means similar. Homo means similar. And hetero means different. Hetero means different. Homogametes in cladophora and algae, these are the homogametes. And in heterogamete, human is the good example. In human, sperm and oha, these are the two another gametes. <coughs> sperm and oha, these are the different gametes. Then in fucus, that is in the brown algae. In that in that case also, heterogametes are present. Then next is next next is types of the sexuality means it is homothalic, heterothalic. Homothalic is interchangeably known 
as the monoecious and heterothallic is known as the dioecious homo means same mono means single in that case mono means in single organism both male and reproductive system are present that is why it is called as the homothallic and in heterothallic hetero means in different and in that case male and reproductive system are different in individual dio means two di means two and mono means one in that way this is the classification then next point is the gamete transfer how gamete transfer some gamete transfers by water air through winds and etc then gamete transfer male and female gamete drop together physically for the fertilization for what purpose for the fertilization <coughs> male gamete are motile and female gametes are the non motile in fungi and the algae both gametes are motile motile gametes uh, male gametes produce more because these are the motiles and these uh, fails to reach to the female gam gametes that's why they produce more in the number and for bryophytes pteridophytes bryophytes pteridophytes water is the medium for their fertilization then next are the post fertilization changes that is zygote and the embryogenesis
means of the river paras? Conrich thighs. Conrich thighs. Conrich thighs. And mammals. And mammals. Conrich thighs means cartilaginous. Genus fish. These are the viviparas. Remaining all are the oviparas. Then now we are going to learn some chromosomal numbers. Some chromosomal numbers in <coughs> animals and in some plants. These are the some examples where we have to see their chromosomal numbers. Then chromosome numbers that are the haploid stage. That are the haploid haploid stage. Haploid and diploid stage. I will write haploid, you will write diploid. Okay, first it will fly 4, 6, 8, 4, 6 in onion, 8, 10, 12, 17, 19, 21, 24, 39, 190 and 316. These are the haploid case and in diploid case you can return as a double. 4, 8, 6, 12, 8, 16, 10, 20. In that way you can write it. So this is the completion of our topic. So, you will revise this topic. This is the very important and easy topic. And this is the 